Hello and welcome <laughs> to Space Time with Robert. I'm Robert and we've got the Ring Nebula through our 8-inch telescope Henrietta in view right now. And here you go. So it might get a little blurry for just a second, but it's worth it, believe me. The Ring Nebula is probably the most famous of all the to resolve the ring structure of the nebula. It then resembles a smoke ring or donut. In the center of the ring is a small bluish dwarf star nearing the end of its life as a star. It is 1.3 by 1.3 arc minutes in size and shines at a magnitude of 9.3. Zooming in on it. Oh cool, I can kind of make out the star in the center of the nebula. You can see a lot of red on the edge there. I yeah. love it. That's cool. So we're using a, um, a deep sky camera hooked up to the telescope and that's hooked up to a laptop and my phone is aimed at the laptop. And so that's how we're able to see this. It's very hard to see uh, color with just your eye when you look through the telescope, at least in our light polluted area. If you go out to a darker site like the desert, it's pretty easy to start to see some color. I think we could see some, some reds and stuff when we're out there in the desert, but... Definitely yeah, green. Definitely green. Which mount? We're using the LX65 mount that came with the 8-inch ACF telescope by Mead. Yeah, you can see it is drifting a little bit. Uh, we're doing four-second exposures, so every four seconds you're getting an update. And I can change that to, for you if you want, so you can see what it looks like. Here, I'll zoom back in on that for you. There it is. M57. make sure we're, yeah, we're, we're veering off a little bit, so <clears throat> eventually this will escape our field of view. We'll have to recenter the telescope. Yeah, I'll stay for uh, eight seconds. You got it. We'll probably do this for at least a, a few more minutes, and then we'll, we'll skedaddle on out of here. we got cats to feed. I think they might be asking about an eight-second exposure. Oh, eight-second exposure, yeah. All right, we're going up to eight seconds. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so we can see what's going on. Ooh, got lots of star trails there. That's a little better. If you want, I can try and lower the gamma a little bit so it's not as bright. Try if I can click it. There it is. That's cool. Um, no, we're not stacking. This is just um, single exposures that you're seeing. And I'm not recording any uh, photographs or anything like that. Okay, do you want me to go back to four seconds? Because it looks like we're starting to lose those star trails a little bit. I feel like we are. Mm -hmm. 
I can see the image moving just a little bit, but I feel like the star trails have kind of died down a little bit. Here, I'll zoom in on the nebula itself. Oh, I can actually see structure to the nebula. Look at that. Little knots here and there. Like I see a condensed region right here and right here. Oh yeah. But it's like diffuse on the edges here. Mm -hmm. And then I can see the little star right there, the neutron star or the white dwarf, sorry. Yeah, I feel like it looks a little oblong on a couple of sides too. Mm -hmm. So no, I, I definitely think the eight second exposure is awesome. Here, I'll lower the gamma just a little bit. Maybe you can see it better on the uh, live stream. That's really cool. Oh yeah, we got some more uh, star trails going, so. I must not have the best alignment with the, the mount right now. Also, it's pointing pretty straight up. I, I think I've read that telescopes, motorized telescopes struggle when you're um, aiming at something directly overhead. And we're aiming like almost directly overhead. Yeah. But I feel like it's doing really good for mm -hmm. a non-astrophotography setup. The Ring Nebula. That's so cool. So this star, I guess, exploded a while ago, like stars do. And it spun around, it had a spin to it. Stars also spin. And when it was spinning and it was exploding, it shot off all of its material into a disc, into a ring-like shape. If you were to look straight down from above onto it, like we are, um, then yeah, it looks like a ring. What Bortle Sky? This is four, Bortle four or Bortle five. That's the rating of our light pollution out here. We're not too far um, from where we live, and that's at, I think, Bortle 5 or Bortle 6. We live right by an airport, so they light up the sky for the airplanes. Try and center it again. Um, <clears throat> I'll zoom out a little bit. No, you're awesome. Thank you for joining us. Seven three three one Deer Lake Galaxy High. What? I have no idea what galaxy that is. We did try and look at the Whirlpool galaxy earlier, and that looked like butt. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much light pollution. I not like, yeah, actually, that's towards the north, and we do have a lot more no uh, light pollution towards the north. So I wouldn't say it's like Bortle six or four across the entire sky. We do have regions that are more light polluted than others. Mm -hmm. Also, the moon is kind of bright tonight too yeah and I think we also have a little bit of haze still from the smoke that we're getting rid of alrighty we're gonna get on out of here and head home thank you so much for joining us this was the ring nebula through Henrietta our 8 inch mead ACF telescope. And you know what? Here, let me just show you really quick the setup if you want. We'll get a light and everything so you can see what we got going on. <coughs> Yikes, that's bright. So, there it is. Now you can see the ring nebula with, with the laptop that we were using. And Here's the telescope. Ooh, sorry, that's bright. Do you have a light? Yes. We're going to get another light on here. Okay. Oh, this telescope is so cool. So this telescope on the side here is an 80 millimeter uh, telescope, Mead ETX 80. 
and it's like a backpack observatory telescope. I just grab that and use that on the side saddle here, this left saddle, so that, oops, sorry, that it uh, adds counterweight because this big guy, big gal over here, Henrietta, she can, uh, she's, she's pretty heavy, hefty little telescope. And <laughs> I just, we're doing a dance and, <clears throat> and there's the camera that we're using, the ZWO ASI 294. And it just has a USB cord hooked up to it that's going down to the laptop there. Oh, there's the ring nebula. And so check this out. Watch, I'm going to tap the telescope. Bing, bing. And it might give us a blur. There it is. Blurry image. Not cool. So, yeah. It's awesome. I love this thing. And I made that dew shield out of duct tape. There you go. No, uh, no magic. All science. Science is magic. The LX65. Beautiful. All right. Allison Henrietta, the Mobile Observatory. Thank you all for joining us for the Ring Nebula. Oh, someone has a question. Yes, Nathan. Oh, let me set this back up. That happened. Okay. What's up, Nathan? If you're still there. I threw a firework off the pier. Remember that? I kind of do. What about it? Did it come back? <laughs> but uh, you'll have to remind me. I farted. <laughs> it's, it's a natural thing, it happens. <laughs> there's gas in space and there's gas in, Never mind. sorry. <laughs> Settle down, man. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, was, was that your question? <laughs> well, that's so cool. Oh, all right. Yeah, you too. Good night, everybody. Love you all. Stay spacey. And excuse me. Bye. <laughs> See you.